One of the goals of using the Sattler Stoltling application is to be able to produce a report with meaningful and relevant clinical information highlighted. After the client or parent has completed the application, they will have submitted the application and it will be stored in the clinician's client records. At this point, with the application open and that client record active, the clinician can go over it with the parent. One thing that a clinician might want to do is go over any missing questions. So we can identify missing questions in the pane on the left. Uh, remember by cl clicking submit questionnaire to save, the missing questions are identified. We can see that here in presenting problem section, question number 13 was not answered. Uh, maybe by talking this over with the parent, uh, they'll be able to answer it. Maybe they did not understand. Uh, maybe they're not able to answer it, and that is also valuable clinical information. When all the questions are answered to the satisfaction of the clinician and client, then a report can be generated. The report's generated by clicking the Administrator Generate Report button. The clinician will then enter the password, uh, so they'll want to enter this privately. It's the same password that they use to log in. This will bring up the different report formats that are available. We have HTML, PDF, Word, DocX. Uh, different formats have different advantages. The Sattler Stolting application is optimized for HTML output. It provides uh, interactive and nice looking format. PDF is a good option if you need just a printable report. And Word DocX kind of walks the balance between the two. It gives a nice looking printable paper report but is also editable. Uh, we'll take a look at these. We'll start with HTML. So it's selected and I'll just now click generate the report. This will output a report, save in my download folder. I can then click and open. I'll notice that the table of contents here shows me the different sections of the report. I can get to any of those just by clicking on them. Uh, the report starts by just providing basic background information, the date the report was generated, uh, some small text output, important dates, and then here are the endorsed questions and answers. So for some questions, the question and output will be output just as long as there's any answer. Um, a lot of the demographic questions are like that. Some questions, um, a critical answer will need to have been answered to be output to this report. Um, so that would be an uh, answer that provides some sort of clinically relevant information or a question that was answered that then had reactive secondary questions. So for example, um, the question, do you know the father's name, generated all these follow-up questions about the father. So that question was identified um, this question, was the child adopted, uh, was answered yes, which is clinically relevant. And then there was follow-up questions about the adoption. Uh, there's some questions uh, in between these about uh, being a ward or being in juvenile detention. Those were answered no, so we can see that those questions and answers were not output as uh, that's, that's not identified as clinically relevant information for this individual. Uh, however, there was it was identified that the child was involved in legal matters and that specific legal matter is output here. So we can get a lot of information. The tables uh, generate all the information that was typed in for the different sections. We can add additional notes. We can print from the HTML format, and to do that, I can right-click and then click Print. If I wish to click a uh, create a PDF format, I can do that, or I can save this, this to a uh, file. Another format that we could print in is just Print to PDF. Um, and so I can select this option and click Generate Report. This will generate a PDF output, and I can see there's a 
table of contents here as well. Uh, it will also, I can also advance to the particular section. Uh, note this is not interactive like the HTML, I'm not able to input information in the PDF uh, compared like what I was with the HTML, but we get the same information output in the same way. And this is nice, we can easily print this, um, go to our printer and print, uh, or however we typically print. Finally, Word docx, we can generate that format. And like with the other formats, this will generate a file. We want to click Enable Editing uh, when this is generated, if that option appears and uh, click yes, that we do want to update fields in the document because that will generate a table of contents. And from here we can, as the uh, helper is saying, click control and whatever section we want to go to that. Um, but just like with the other out formats, this will output information in the same fashion. Here, this is nice because I can also go in and edit this information, add some additional information change anything that I would like to. So this gives um, all the different ways of making a report. Uh, again, at the end, after I've output all the reports, remember we changed one of these questions so we can again save the questionnaire. I'll click submit and it will be saved as a new entry uh, to this client's information. This concludes the video series. Uh, thank you very much. If you do have any questions, please contact us. Uh, we would love to be able to help you out with anything. Thank you. Bye.